Drinking coffee might actually decrease your risk for atrial fibrillation. What? A brand new study out of the University of California, San Francisco might change the way physicians, doctors, and everybody else talks about caffeine and atrial fibrillation altogether. New research finds that daily coffee drinking may cut atrial fibrillation risk by 40%, defying decades of medical caution. Scientists discovered that caffeine's effect on activity, blood pressure, and Inflammation could all contribute to a healthier heart rhythm. The decaf, what a name. Decaf clinical trials findings suggest coffee could not only be safe, but beneficial for people who have AFib. Now, the way they devised this study, essentially they took 200 patients who already had atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter and were scheduled to have a cardio version, which is a synchronized cardio shock we do all the time. We actually give anesthesia for it all the time to reset your heart initially, essentially to get you out of atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter. They they, They took those 200 people, divided into two groups. One group drank one cup of coffee or a shot of espresso every single day, and one group avoided caffeine for six months. And they found actually the fascinating results were that the people who had the coffee every single day actually had a lower reoccurrence of the atrial fibrillation by as much as 39%. The results were astounding, said Christopher X. Wong, PhD at UCSF. Doctors have always recommended that patients with problematic AFib minimize their coffee intake, but the trials suggest that coffee is not only safe, but likely to be protected. Now, this is so interesting. Obviously, you have to check with your physician first before you do anything. That being said, what are your thoughts? If you have atrial fibrillation, I I would say ask your physician about this study. Fascinating. It's going to change the way that doctors think about atrial fibrillation because caffeine is a stimulant. It's something that stimulates your heart rate. And we always thought for a long time, anything that stimulates your heart rate, you don't want to give it if you have a you know messed up heart rate. So this is very exciting, very uh, game changing type of news. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below as always. I love you guys. I will see you on the next one.